Welcome back to Blender 4 Biochemists. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use materials, like you can see, to uh, apply different materials and different looks to different parts of the protein, but still have it all combined into one uh, cool looking structure. For example, today I'm going to be using uh, human ribonuclease P. Uh, it's talked about in the molecule of the month here, but structure 6AHU. So I'm going to go into a new scene, put that into molecular nodes, click download, give it 30 seconds to download, and let's get started. Cool, so it has finished downloading, and if I look around, I should be able to see it up there. So tilde, tilde 3, this is what we're after. So I'm going to go to our geometry nodes workspace, move up there. And to get it into the middle, I'm going to use the center selection node, which if you give it a selection like I talked about in the last video, it will then put that in the center. I'm just going to delete that cube, rotate around something like that, add a plane. And let's go into cycles. Now there's not a lot of light, so let's add a, some, let's try and be a bit more dramatic with our lighting this time. Let's get rid of that light. Just use an area light. kind of nice. So if I just do an example render, you can sort of see, all right, you can see we've got all of our atoms, they've got different colors and we can color by chain like we've got here, but ultimately what we want to be doing is maybe applying a different material. Maybe we want to mix a bit of 2D and 3D, maybe we want to change things up. And so, let's move that down a little bit more. Inside the node tree, you can set material and you can set a whole new material. So if we material one and do this on a certain selection. So maybe on all that RNA, what you'll see is that it doesn't actually work when you're dealing with point clouds. And so that's because point clouds only support a single material. And so even if we select by this uh, separate, and then join it back together, you'll see that it breaks because it's using two different materials. And so what we need to do is we need to handle it in the on the shader side and so we can either if well one thing we can do is if we have our rna and then we have style ribbon join our ribbon back up our ribbon we can add a different material to without too much trouble so if i Go to Shader Editor. Attribute Color. And this will give me access to the color that's coming from the molecular nodes. But maybe I want this to be shaded flat and I can just plug that straight in there. And that's just going to be like flat color. And so if we have a look at that. Obviously it doesn't look very good, but we can have sort of flat sh uh, shading like that. We can, if we want, have regular, but then maybe we want it to be really metallic. And bring the roughness down so now it's really shiny. And have a look at that. And 
And so now we've got very balloony looking ribbons and the RNA is represented in regular sort of uh, at atoms. So what about if we want a surface over our RNA? So let's go styling surface. So we've got a surface over it. I'm going to maybe change that to that. Turn smoothing off 0 0.1. So we've got a surface over our RNA, but we also want to sort of see through the surface to some of the atoms underneath. And so we can do that is with, we just join our atoms back in. So we're creating our surface, but we're also still joining in our atoms underneath. And with this one, I'm going to create a new material that's still pulling in the information. And this is gonna be that one. And we don't want this to be metallic. What we do want is the alpha to come down. And so it's not super clear with this. You can sort of see that it's slightly more transparent. But if we, actually that looks pretty cool. Let's give that a render. That actually, I really like that. Um, we, our ribbons, we can smooth them out a bit. So go like that, take that up to say 32. They'll be nice and smooth. Our RNA, we could go, uh, what we want actually is, let's go ball and stick. And so inside our RNA, let's turn off EV atoms. Inside our RNA surface, we can see our ball and stick. Let's bring that down a bit smaller so we can start seeing the sticks. About 0 0.3. And now this, if we want, we can set to yet another material. Create a new material. Material 2. Maybe this we want to be just flat shaded. And now let's have a look at that. Cool. I actually like the look of that. And so one other thing is I just want to add an outline to the surface. So there's a few different ways to add an outline around things, but I want it just on the surface. So we're going to go material one, which is what is applied to the surface. And we are going to mix shader. I'll plug that in there. We're going to use RGB. And we're going to use the Fresnel. And we're going to plug that into the faction. And then we're going to dial that down. And you can see it starts getting, it's basically how angled a surface is. So the more angled it is, uh, it's going to be black. And so we just dial that into somewhere like there. And now we've got an outline around our RNA. And so I'll just leave that to render. Now before I finish up, I just want to show how with the point clouds, you can't have separate materials, but you can still do something different. So if we get rid of all of the, uh, get rid of all of this and just go to the atoms, I'll just go to these atoms. So we've got all our atoms and they've all got the basic mole atomic material. And so what I wanna do is store store named attribute. I'm going to go boolean and I'm going to store this boolean and I'm going to say selection. So I'm storing it in the point domain. I'm storing the boolean and now inside our shader in the molatomic material we can duplicate that and look for selection 
And now if we, okay, I just spent like five minutes debugging and it's because I spelled selection wrong. So we have our store named attribute and we're plugging in our selection into our store named attribute. And that is now available inside of your shader through selection. So you can see the color is white or black. So white for one or true and black for false or zero. And so it's available through the factor socket or through the color socket. And we can use that to uh, mix a shader. So if we plug in our factor, got our regular shader there. And if we just plug in the colors, or if we had another shader here that had the color plugged in, but was really metallic, so metallic atoms, then you can plug that in. Uh, let's swap that around. And we bring down our roughness. So now we've got really metallic atoms uh, for the RNA, and then the rest of the protein is actually regular shader. And so that's how you can bring a value from either chain number, selection, amino acid number, any kind of number. It doesn't have to be a Boolean, it can be an integer, a vector, etc. You just need to store it in the correct domain. So I'm dealing with point clouds. If you're dealing with mesh, it needs to be in the face or the face corner. And once it's stored, then you're accessible in the shader. And so I'll just click render. And that's how that looks. And so this is just another quick one. So thanks again, everyone, for the coffees, for tweeting at me with your cool creations, for all the support. Uh, please do keep sharing it with colleagues and the like. Please do like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.